Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to read information such as email to, email from, subject and body from text file and send emails by using send mail task uh, in SSIS package. That's, this scenario is pretty much true for the Excel file source as well. So let's say if you have information in Excel source, this is going to be the same scenario, but your source will change. If you have any types of source, maybe you have source as a Oracle or maybe DB2 or any other, maybe XML, you can read the information then save the information in object type variable and then use the for each loop container to loop through that uh, uh, object type variable records and then finally use the send mail task uh, and expressions uh, to send uh, the multiple emails that you have read uh, the records uh, from the source. Now let me show you in my case what I have. I have a text file that has uh, three records. Uh, and you can see that it has email from, email to, subject and body. These are the header and the rest of that the, uh, the information is uh, um, the, 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 that's the email information. So I have email from, uh, this is the email to, this is where I want to send the email, this is the subject and this is uh, the body of that email. So I want to build the email by using this information and then send the uh, email. So the, in this case we will be sending three emails. In your case if it is Excel you have pretty much the same information but it will be in Excel. You read by using Excel source and go ahead and send the information. In my case it is a flat file so it is tab delimited file. So close it. Let's uh, go to the SSDT or bids and create a new SSIS package. Here we'll be clicking a new SSIS package. Once uh, the package is ready, you can use the data flow task here. As we are reading the information from the flat file, we have to use flat file source. So I'm going to go to the sources and we have flat file source here. Open it. Create a new connection manager. Browse. Select the file. Now, in this case, the column names are in the first data row. That's correct in my case. If you don't have it, that's fine. Now, go to columns and columns are coming correct. The column delimiter is the tab here. In your case, it could be CSV. So, it will be comma delimited file or it can be any colon or tab uh, such as uh, so, uh, so it can be tab or vertical bar. So, whatever it is, you go ahead and select that. In my case, it was uh, tab it selected automatically now go to advance if you need to change the data length you can go ahead and change it in my case I'm fine with the DTSTR 50 and that's the worker 50 now hit OK retain null values from the source as null values in the data source if there is some null values come in and you want to read them as a null you can go ahead and click this one this uh, can be helpful maybe you have to use uh, the derived column transformation to filter those uh, records in my case I don't have those records but um, you can go ahead and click this one go to columns fine next part uh, right now if you see that I'm in the data flow and I cannot use the send mail task because the send mail task is in the control flow pan so I have to make some way to get to the save the records here and go to the control flow and use that uh, task so what I have here in the destinations I have a record set destination by using the record set destination I can save the records in the object type variable once I have the records in the object type variable I can go ahead and use them in, uh, in, the, in the send mail task not directly but uh, I will be using for each loop container to loop through the records and uh, then use those values so here I have to provide uh, the object type variable so if you click see here I'm trying to click here but it's not giving me option to create it I have to go ahead and create it first so I'm gonna cancel this one go to variables and say new variable and I call it email list and the type I hit O so it will give me object and that's how I'm going to create the object type variable I'm gonna go back in the record set destination and now I should have that object type variable here so if I go back here, email list, input columns, I want to select all of them. So I want the email from, email to, subject and body and uh, go ahead and uh, hit refresh and uh, we are all good here.
we don't have to do anything else now the records are in the object type variable and now we are going to the control flow pan and here we need to use those uh, records uh, we will be using for each loop container here connect your data flow here to the uh, for each loop container double click on for each loop container collections in the for each item enumerator you will be selected this enum or enumerator is hard on me really so uh, take it easy you guys call it whatever you call for each audio enumerator okay so this is what we are going to use it and here we will be selecting the object type variable and the rest of that leave as it is rows in the first table that's what we have and next uh, we go to variable mapping if you take a notice uh, the very first uh, column what we had was email from so we have to map those values to the variables now I'm gonna create a variable and call it email, email from this is going to be string type and it took the index of zero that's the very first column or a, uh, or a variable that will be same in the first column of values so I have email from email to subject and body so on each of the iteration those values will be saved to the these uh, variables so make sure you are in sync uh, with those uh, column order so we have email from and then we have email to string type that's what we want and next one is the uh, body sorry no subject and the last one is body so subject now we have uh, the body we are all good here on each of the iteration it is going to read uh, the record from the object type and uh, keep doing it till it's not uh, done and next uh, we are save, saving those values on each of iteration in the variable we have to make use of those uh, values so we need to use a send mail task here on each of the iteration it will be sending one email and then next iteration those values of variable will change and uh, next we will send a new email with the whatever the information we will read from the object type variable go to mail and here we will be creating a new SMTP connection go to new SMTP and in my case my SMTP server name is TBS client and use Windows authentication hit OK go to the expressions we don't want to use the static values as we are reading the values from the variable so we'll make use of that right so go to properties we have from line I'm, I'm pressing F it is going to take me to the from line line eventually and here I'm gonna use the variable email from right good next I have to use two line where I want to send the email now we will be using email to next third part we will be using subject so you press s it will take you to subject now we will be using the variable subject here the last one is called the body in the, the expressions you call don't see that body here you will be saying message source so you will click here on message source and then use whatever the contents you want put, want to put in the body so this is what we want to use in the body fine and hit OK we are all good right now it is a uh, shown as a red cross here so it is saying no re recipient is a specified it means the we don't have a list or the email to and email from and all those kind of things we don't have it here it's trying to validate but we can do one thing we can go ahead and set the property delay validation on this one and we said don't uh, try to validate because we know that the values are not there the values will be there when we will run the package so at runtime you will find the value you can go ahead and validate at runtime but don't do at the package initialization so I set the property delay validation to true now error is not there and now I can go ahead and save the package and let me do the last thing we can go ahead I have already opened the email so if I show you guys email uh, somehow it was sending the email to into spam I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me see 
if I go more here hold on one second yeah, so I, I have marked this one not spam so now it should be going to the inbox when I would run the package last time it was going to the spam so let's see if it still go to spam but I have to do that setting for my e email doesn't really matter I want to show you emails are created so we'll go ahead and run the package or start the package it should send uh, three emails now it is uh, reading the data from a flat file so what to happen so now it is saying the number of rows occurred maximum fix it what exactly happened hold on one second let me take a look on the error information we are gonna fix the error it's good idea actually uh, we are lucky we got this error so we have to fix it right <laughs> sometime okay truncation occur so body is uh, maybe there are more uh, values or more characters or more data and this is truncating uh, that one in my case remember I said leave everything as it is sometimes it's not a good practice so go to flat file connection manager and uh, if you go to columns and this is where we maybe truncation is happening so there is this this data is more than 50 characters so we are going to go to advanced and here we have body right it is sent 50 instead of that we will make it 500 you can make it a thousand or two thousand whatever you like so now we have 500 and flat file is shown warning here we have to refresh so yes we want to refresh metadata columns okay looks good now we go back and run our SSIS package so this time it is a success great so stop the package let's go to the email and take a look so now we are opening the email still uh, I see that they are going to the spam or probably let me see refresh let's refresh and see where those email are more labels and those emails went to the spam I have to kind of mark them uh, not to go to spam every time uh, I will do that later but uh, here you can see that the test email uh, subject 1 test email subject 2 and the 3 so those are the email I uh, ran this test one more time uh, and that's why you you can see number 2 here and uh, but uh, these are the email which are uh, created from those uh, from the text file and uh, we, we have a send number using the send mail task so this message uh, because it is coming from there uh, let me see not spam delete forever uh, let me back to the spam move to inbox let's see if that helps or not. I, I will take care of that part uh, first, uh, first of all I have to mark them on spam and then uh, you know uh, no big deal but uh, you can see that those emails were sent let's go back here and uh, let's see if uh, uh, not spam okay uh, probably I have to just do the same thing here not spam not spam I'm gonna go ahead and do one more test in front of you guys so I'm marking them all of them not spam so next time when I get the email I hope I will get them in the inbox so, so let me mark them red okay fine and the last one now I'm gonna go back and change the file a little bit so we will see the, the, this is a new file and the new emails are coming so this is a good test uh, we should be going back and forth and taking a look on this one so here in this subject uh, I'm going to call this one s1 sb1 so it is subject one this is called sb2 and then uh, we have tab here and uh, I'm gonna let this one as it is control s save it close it and now we are gonna go ahead and run the package when you make changes uh, sometime uh, you messed up with the file but anyways I made the changes so let's see what we got here so now we if we go back here and the email we see test three okay emails are here and couple of emails still come into the uh, spam no big deal because the, the, I have changed the subject so I can mark them on, on spam 
but uh, in your case uh, they shouldn't be going to the spam when you are working on companies one time you mark them on spam or not spam then they should be going to the inbox uh, so you see that uh, if we change the record we put more records or uh, less records uh, we don't have to make any changes uh, in uh, our SSIS package uh, it is going to take care automatically so this is great package uh, when it comes to somebody give us a file and we have to read uh, file records and uh, loop through them and send those uh, emails uh, and uh, this can be done also the attachment part can be done so there is a uh, one field could be attachment and you read that information and using the expression as attachment and uh, by doing that th it will attach those files uh, as uh, well so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video